We're in the fireplace this morning and we're having the folks from Green Bay Fear here. You know, in the seven o'clock hour, we showed the strangest strong man. He was amazing. You can go to our website to learn more about that. But we're telling you about all the hours and hours and hours they put in to makeup to create their characters. They don't just use a mask. Some of them may wear one, but they have really cool ways to use makeup to create different effects. Alicia, tell me what you're doing here this morning. All right, so with Sierra here, we are doing an exposed face. Um, it looks like the flesh is ripping open to a skeleton. And I'm applying a water-based makeup on her face. And we're doing like half and half yep. just to show them, which is really cool. You do, I mean, makeup every day, right? For yes. when the show is open, when the haunted house is open for yep. people. But how much time goes into each character, would you say? Um, each character comes to the haunted house. They get their costume in a room, and then we base the makeup off where they are within the haunted house. So I would say any makeup can take 10 to 20 to 30 minutes. Wow. How many people do you have on hand helping? Um, Acting every night, we have at least 60 to 70 plus um, more who are in character walking around the haunted house. Okay, as you're applying this, let's just bring up some photos that David Oshevsky, the event coordinator, shared with us. It's just some of these pictures are pretty awesome of the makeup that they have on, the different effects that we have is here as well. I mean, it is a lot of time and effort that you're doing here, and you really want to scare people to make it look real, right? Yeah, um, we do a lot of detail and a lot of work with the makeup to make sure it fits each area and the scare overall. So obviously this show is going to be, this haunted house is going to be for, you know, older adults, maybe teens, um, 18 and older, or would you say what would be the appropriate age? We have all ages who come to the haunted house, so um, if it's a little too scary, you know, we're not going to be really mean and scare them, but right. any age can come. Um, we have a lot of stuff going on that they can see other than just the haunted house as well. And what are you doing now? So now I'm doing like a hollowed out area that'd be like the hole in the skull okay. where the eye was. So I'm just doing the details over the face. And I forgot to ask, what is this? This suffering? is um, liquid latex and a paper product. I used a coffee filter today. <laughs> hey, um, you gotta use whatever you yeah, can. Yeah, you can use whatever you want, okay. really. How are you feeling this morning? Feeling skeleton-y? Yeah. yeah, feeling skeleton-y. <laughs> yeah. Looking good. <laughs> what are you doing now? Just adding more details of the skull, um, making it look more exposed. What advice do you have for people at home? Let's say they get all decked out for Halloween. What do you advise them to use with stuff? Um, I personally like to use the water-based versus cream-based makeup. When it dries, it stays well, unless you're dumping water on your face, but it's Halloween, so you should be good. Um, but make sure you know what makeup you're using and how to use it, right? And how much longer do you think this would take? How much more work do you have to do with her? Oh, probably about 10 minutes. Okay. If that. Sure. Well, we'll ha let you go ahead and keep working, right. and then we'll kind of show a finished product like a little later in the show, just so that we can show you. I mean, it does, it takes some time. But wow, really cool stuff. I like the transformation, it's awesome. <laughs> Thank you ladies for being You're with welcome. us. And you can go to our website to learn more about Green Bay Fear. Perfect time of year, Halloween's next Friday. So you can head out there. You can go to our website, fox11online.com to learn more.